is a gang from Luton known as the Migs. In one house, they found snapshots taken during Liverpool's European Cup final match against Juventus in the Heisel Stadium when 39 people died. The detective leading the operation, Superintendent John Branscombe, says they also found an array of weapons. We've got a, a great array of armoury ranging from baseball bats, coshes, knives, flares and stars. These are homemade ones made up of Stanley knife blades, so they taped together. Luton Town were recently ordered to end their ban on away fans in the FA Cup. The ban had prevented violence for two seasons. Paul Rowley, Radio City News. Our sport now. Wigan are through to Wembley in the Rugby League Cup. They saw off giant killers Salford 34-4 at Bolton. In the FA Cup, Brian Clough reached the semi-final for the first time in his career. His Nottingham Forest side winning 2-1 at Arsenal. Wimbledon are also through, beating Watford 2-1, despite having Brian Gale sent off. Portsmouth's McQuinn was also dismissed in his side's 3-1 defeat at Luton. In the first division, Everton's record of not having won in London this season continued with a goalless draw at troubled Chelsea. Midfield man Kevin Sheedy blames himself for the result. We only had three or four good chances and I'd normally expect to stick one of them away but I think that's the way things have been going for us lately but uh, the good point was we created a lot of chances and we were in total control for the full 90 minutes. We were a bit frustrated. I think if we'd have got one, we'd have probably gone on to win two or three but the longer the game went on, we sort of snatched at our chances and the game seemed to drift away from us. In the third division, Wigan Athletic had Paul Beardsley sent off, but they drew two all with Sunderland, thanks to a last-minute goal from Steve Senior. In the fourth, Tranmere Rovers drew 0-0 at Rochdale, while Wrexham went down 2-1 at home to Swansea. Lancashire are through to the final of Rugby Union's county championship beating Gloucestershire 11-6. Well, now the weather, cloudy with outbreaks of light rain overnight. The outlook, more showers expected and winds staying light and variable. In Liverpool now, the temperature, 3 degrees. Paul Leckie, the peaceful hour on City 96.7 FM. Thank you very much indeed, Mark. Five minutes past 12, a Sunday morning, 13th day of March, 1988. Paul Leckie with you on the forever and tell him I think about every second of the day and night. He's the only one for me. Thanks a million from Ewok. I'm not too sure what sort of a name that is, but presumably it is a pseudonym of one sort or another. But thank you very much indeed, Ewok, for writing into the programme. Uh, Lily Road, Liverpool 7. Sandy writes in, would you please play a request on Sunday morning's peaceful hour? It's my husband, Terry, and tell him, Terry, I love you more each day. Babe, can't wait to see you. Lots of love from Sandy. And from, you'll know who it's from, see you soon, to TC of the Wirral. And the message is, love you always. Glenn Medeiros, and nothing's going to change my love for you. of love, isn't it? That's Glenn Medeiros and nothing's going to change my love for you. Quarter past 12 on Radio City for a Sunday morning. If you just turned the radio on, well, where on earth have you been for the last two hours? Order. Never mind. Welcome along to the programme anyway. I do hope you're going to stick around at least for the next 45 minutes when you'll possibly hear one of your favourite love songs as well between now and one o'clock. But good morning to Tracy of Charles Street in Blackpool. Good morning to you, Tracy. And you say I'm writing to your late night show for a request for a very special, wonderful person called Robert Anderson. Please tell him I love him truly and he is always in my thoughts and will remain in my heart forever. Uh, there's not a day that goes by that I don't think about you, Robert. Also, please wish him a very happy birthday, as it's his birthday today. I wish you a very happy birthday, straight from my heart to yours, with love. And please play a suitable record. I think you'll like the next one. Thank you very much indeed, Tracy. And a special good morning to you, Robert. And I do hope you enjoy your birthday and that you're reunited with Tracy in the near future as well. Best wishes from me. And from Ruth in the Wirral, many thanks for our requests over the last few weeks, but please could you play Nev something very special during the Peaceful Hour this Sunday morning. I hope you enjoy this one. Phil Collins and One More Night. One more night. 
Phil Collins and One More Night. 20 minutes past 12 exactly this Sunday morning, which brings us around to the first of two Lonely Heart messages that we have for you. Now, David writes in from the Kirkdale area of Merseyside, and David says, I'm writing to try and get on your Lonely Heart show. My name's David, I'm 23, and I've got a job. I'm five feet five and have got blue eyes, and I'm into funk and Tamil Motown. I like going to pubs and clubs and like having a good laugh, and I'm looking for a girl between 18... 18-